fennel and dill salad. Let's pop right in. This is one of my favorite salads for spring. Um, it's just very refreshing, uses a little bit unique vegetables, and it's really lovely. So you can use a mandolin for this. It gives you a nice thin slice on things, but the first time I made it, I just totally used the knife because I was too lazy to pull my mandolin out. So it's up to you. This is a fennel bulb. Um, it had these stems and fronds on it, which I actually used for a shrimp pickling recipe earlier. So now we just have the bulb left. So first, we're gonna start with this, break it down a little bit. Um, you want to take a look at the outside of it and see the outer layers here are a little bit crusty, so we're just going to peel them right off. Um, what you can also do if there's just a few spots is you can take a peeler and just kind of peel them off. But this one's just a little bit too brown for my taste, so we will just say goodbye to it entirely. Great. Yeah, and this one has a little brown, so we'll just come in here and kind of say goodbye. Cool, so we're going to come in here and cut the fennel. You want to set it on its flat stem here, a uh, long ways down the middle. You can check it and you see it has a big um, stem on both sides that we want to take out. It's super tough. So a lot of people just come in with a paring knife and cut it out that way, but I actually like to come in here, cut down this direction, and then you've got a nice flat surface. Oh, here, take the root end off as well. We have a nice flat surface and you can just come in at an angle, see exactly where you're going and take it out. Great. Any extra root end, go ahead and take off and just repeat that with the rest of these. And this one, if you actually take off the stem here before you break it down into pieces, it's much easier. So at this point, you can either just slice it up really thinly this way, but we're gonna take our mandolin, come in here, just keep your fingers clear, make one cut and check. Great. Fennel's such a strong flavor that having it sliced really thinly is nice. Cool. With the mandolin, I always stop before, like don't try and get the last bit. It's not worth it. And just repeat that with the rest of them. Any um, big chunks you have left over from the mandolin, you can just kind of come in here and thinly slice. Excellent, so I've got this bench scraper here, normally used for scraping flour. Just put all your fennel into your salad mixing bowl. Uh, next, this is just a little Persian cucumber. If you can't find these, just use half of a regular or an English cucumber and it's totally fine. So we're gonna take off the ends. Say goodbye. And you can leave the peel on these if you'd like, but we're just gonna do it in little bit of, in little strips. Whether or not I peel my cucumbers depends on what I want them to look like and whether or not the peel is super waxy. Great. You can also just, again, slice this with the knife, but since the mandolin's out, we're just gonna mandolin them. Let's check our slices, perfect. And it gives you these really beautiful, little, elegant, thin rounds of cucumber. That's good enough. And that can be a snack. Awesome, so our little cucumber rounds. Pull aside about three of them to garnish on top, and the rest just go right in with the fennel. All right, next is dill. This is kind of a sad little bunch of dill, which means it's the perfect time to chop it up and use it. Kind of looks like I do on a hot summer day. But you just take it by the stems. Um, these stems are a little floppy, so we can't necessarily go backwards, but you can just kind of strip them off. If you get a little bit of the tender stems in there, that's okay. But the key to this salad is having a bunch of fresh dill in there. It's really gonna bring out a fantastic flavor. And it makes it kind of different than most other salads. All right, so you just take your big old pile of fresh dill here, kind of wad it up, and then I like to use the heel of my knife for it, and you just come through. I'm gonna give it a rough chop. Watch your fingers, great. Bring it back together, oops, get off, and go the other way. Great. And then just back across it a few more times because you want small bits of dill distributed all throughout the salad, not like one big chunk every couple bites. This is maybe just a touch much, so I'm gonna use about this much for my salad here. In she goes. And brush the dill off of everything. And then we're at the last two steps. So I have a really beautiful head of red leaf lettuce here. This is my favorite lettuce for this salad. It's just the perfect texture and sweetness. But any lettuce you have on hand that you wanna use will be fine. Uh, I rinsed it, it's been drying. Salad spinner would be great for this, but I do not currently have one of those. So, I'm just gonna pat it dry here. You just wanna make sure it's not wet so that the dressing doesn't, uh, the water on the leaves doesn't rinse the dressing off. This is a very large head, so we might not need to use all of it. So to start with, I'm actually gonna come down here and I'm just gonna split the head of lettuce by its root end so it's still held together. And we'll just tackle one half at a time. So now that we've got this here, Go ahead and take that root end off and any browned outer layers you see, you can say goodbye to. And then I'm just gonna come down and make a couple cuts lengthwise. 
so we don't have a huge long piece of greens when we pull, when we take a bite of salad. And then you just chop it up. Great. And actually for the amount of um, salad we're gonna be making, I think about half of that head of lettuce is just perfect. All right, so we're gonna make the dressing real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna use a mason jar for this. So I have some honey in the bottom. This is about two tablespoons. I was going for one, but whatever. Uh, and I just warmed it up in the microwave. It was a little bit crystallized and warming it up is gonna help it mix in with the dressing a little bit better. So to that, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of a spicy brown mustard. You could also use Dijon. Okay, that'll be good. So our acid for this is gonna be lemon, keeping with that spring freshness. Let's take off the exciting ends there. Have it. And you want about three tablespoons of lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice handy, you could also use like a red wine or white wine vinegar and that would be really pleasant as well. That we're gonna add a good pinch of some coarse kosher salt, some fresh ground black pepper, and this is just a grapeseed oil. Whatever oil you like to use for your salad dressings is perfect, and just a few tablespoons of this. Now, what I'm doing here is a big no-no in kitchen culture because I should technically be emulsifying this with a whisk or a blender while I slowly add the oil, but that's not what we're gonna do today. Honestly, when I get home at the end of the day and I just need to get something fresh and healthy on the dinner table, if my dressing's not perfectly emulsified, that's okay with me. So just shake it up. Great. Give it a taste check. Mmm. Just a touch more salt. So now we're just gonna mix this with the dressing and it's ready to go. So if that dressing sat for a sec, go ahead and give it one more shake. Get it all whipped up again. And then just lightly dress the salad. Always add more, you just want the leaves to glisten. You don't want to drown it. Cool, and then you just get in here. Give it a good mix. I highly recommend using a larger bowl than I am, but this is so y'all can see. What's going on? Oh man, look at all that goodness. You've got the pretty white fennel, the nicely sliced Persian cucumber, red lettuce. This is just a beautiful, beautiful salad and all of that dill. Cool, so we're all mixed up, ready to go. Just bring the plate to you. Yeah, a nice pile going there. cucumber garnish, some extra dill if you'd like. And that's it. That is dill and fennel salad, fennel and dill salad. I can't recall, it's the same thing. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, it's one of my favorite salads. If it also turns out to be one of your favorite salads, if you go ahead and hit that like button for me and subscribe, that would be super appreciated. You can find more of our recipes and videos on cleavercooking.com and enjoy.